the angel Moroni, and the gold plates. Three years went by after Joseph's first vision. He was 17 years old. Joseph wondered what God wanted him to do. One night, Joseph prayed. He had faith that God would tell him what to do. Joseph saw a bright light in his room. An angel was standing in the light. The angel's face was very bright. He wore a beautiful white robe. The angel said his name was Moroni. God had sent him to talk to Joseph. Moroni said God had a work for Joseph to do. The angel Moroni told Joseph about a book. The book was about the people in America long ago. Jesus Christ came to these people. He taught them his gospel. Moroni said the book was written on gold pages. The gold pages were called plates. The book was written in a language we do not know. God wanted Joseph to translate the book. Joseph would write it in words we know. The angel Moroni said the plates were hidden in a hill near Joseph's home. They were buried in the ground. Moroni said two stones were hidden with the gold plates. The stones were called the Urim and Thummim. The stones would help Joseph translate the book. Moroni told Joseph about Elijah. Elijah was a great prophet who lived long ago. Elijah had the priesthood. The story of Elijah is in the Old Testament. Moroni said Elijah would come back to earth. Elijah would tell people to learn about their ancestors. Ancestors are members of our family who lived before us. Moroni told Joseph about the priesthood. The priesthood is the power of God. Moroni said Elijah would bring priesthood power to the earth. The priesthood power would help righteous families. They could be sealed. Then they could live together forever. Moroni went away. The angel Moroni came back two more times that night. He told Joseph many things each time. He left when it was morning. Joseph got up and went to work with his father on the farm. <laughs> Joseph was too tired to work. He fell down. While he was lying down, Moroni came again. Joseph told his father the things Moroni taught him. Joseph's father believed him. He knew God had sent Moroni. He told Joseph to obey Moroni. Joseph went to find the gold plates. He went to a hill near his home. It was the hill Camorra. The gold plates were there. They were buried under a big rock. They were in a stone box. The Urim and Thummim were also in the box. The angel Moroni came to Joseph. He would not let Joseph take the gold plates home. He told Joseph to come to the hill on the same day each year for four years. Joseph obeyed Moroni. He went to the hill Camorra each year. Moroni taught him there. Moroni told Joseph about the true church of Jesus Christ. Jesus would start his church on the earth again. In 1827, Moroni gave the gold plates to Joseph. Joseph had waited four years to get the plates. Moroni told Joseph to take good care of the plates. Joseph took the gold plates home. He wanted to take good care of them. Wicked men tried to steal them. Joseph hid the gold plates where the wicked men could not find them. God helped Joseph keep the gold plates safe.